We're back here on Main Street in Galena, Illinois, and our next stop is a restaurant that is full of fresh local flavor, 111 Main. Well, we just got inside and I said, you know what I need before I eat a meal? A good cocktail. Adam's graciously invited us behind the bar and have a couple cocktails mixed up for us. So Adam, what do we have here first? <clears throat> this is a ginger gin gimlet, which is made with Destor gin out of Madison, Wisconsin, Caval ginger liqueur out of Chicago, and then uh, lime juice. Oh man, that's, that's really great. Do you guys try to incorporate a lot of local liquors? Uh, we have a very extensive list of a lot of regional boutique yeah. spirits, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. so. mm. Yeah, it's ginger, it's lime, it's sweet yet sour. That's, that is a really good cocktail. Mm. Oh man, that's really, really good. What mm. else do we have here? This here is a, it's called a North Shore Breeze, which incorporates North Shore vodkas out of Lake Bluff, Illinois. And all the rest of it is grapefruit juice, cranberry juice. Our take on a sea breeze, basically. A sea breeze. A little bit of tartness. That there is a lot of tartness with that grapefruit. Yes. Mm. Oh wow. Yeah, I mean, what a great, you know, cooler. I mean, definitely it's a good summer a, drink. Great They're summer refreshing. drink after after a long day. That'd be great. Mm. You know. What is it about this bar that makes your guys a little bit different from other places along the Strip? Uh, well, like I said, we try to use a lot of local spirits, and it helps a lot having the Blonde Brothers right up the street, too, as well, because we have all their stuff. With being a tourist town, too, you always get a lot of people that want to try something from the area, something local, so it's an easy sell, and people enjoy it, and it's great. Yeah, well, I mean, what would you say about working here in a tourist town rather than working in a, in a, in a normal you know, bar or restaurant. What's the best part about serving that uh, clientele? You know, it's, it's a small town, but it has a big town feel because you get tons of tourists annually and you always meet all kinds of different people from all over the country, sometimes all over the world even. Which yeah. is crazy to think that somebody from Asia comes here to Galena a town of 3,500 people, but it happens. And I'm like, how did you get here? And they always have a crazy story of how they came here. Well, you know, certainly, you know, if I'm coming to town, I'd love to come in here and get another cocktail because both of these are stellar and I can't wait to try some of the food. All right, thanks a lot, Adam. Oh, you bet, thank you. with Carlos, one of the seasoned servers here at 111 Main, and we're gonna try some of these great appetizers. Carlos, what do we have in front of us? So right here for you, we do have a bruschetta. It's not your traditional bruschetta, as you can tell. Oh, yeah. We do have crostinis there for you, topped with a white bean and gruyere. Oh, puree. Uh, oh, it's a bean puree. Correct. Then and we have some what seasonal vegetables there, and then we always try to keep it fresh. And then on top of that, people will think it's chocolate, but it's actually a balsamic reduction. Mm-hmm. Awesome. So where do you get your vegetables then? Stone Hollows, you know, that's some of the farms that are, we have around here. We also get our bread. As you can tell, we have some bread over there as well. Mm -hmm. That's from East Mill Bakery in Dubuque. Oh, wow. So a lot of regional uh, flavors coming into, uh, into your restaurant here. Yes, we do. We always try to keep it fresh. What do we have here? Right here, we do have a smoked trout there for you. We do get um, from fresh trout from fresh waters in Wisconsin. We have crostinis there for you. We have egg whites, egg yolks, onions, and capers. All right. So, what's uh, why the, the dedication to fresh foods is is got to be uh, you know something to be really proud of, huh? It is actually, and that's kind of the we try to advertise our farm to fork style here at One Eleven Main. Yeah. So I mean, Dubuque, 
Illinois, yep. uh, and plenty of for cheeses. Uh, we do cheeses have Wisconsin from you know. Wisconsin. Yep, from around from Darlington and Shoalsburg in Wisconsin. Mm. We do have underneath. You really can't see it there. We do have some um, balsamic reduction there as well. Some almonds, some Door County cherries, and wooded wonderland honey. Oh wow, it's great that you can come into town and not only get a taste of Galena but also a, a taste of the entire tri-state area. Yes. You know, you know, everything from the region. And then what do we have over here? Over here for you, we do have people who like to add some soup and salad. We do call this a little bow tie plate. We do have some salad. We always try to put fresh vegetables on that. We have beets, carrots, radishes, grape, um, tomatoes, and cucumbers. Yeah, Usually some... people will pick a dressing for that. We do have ranch, blue cheese, and our balsamic vinaigrette all made at house. We also do have a spicy um, chicken of the woods chili. Chicken of the woods. Hold on. You make all of your dressings here in-house? Yes, we do. Oh, wow. So it's not just, you know, local flavors, but it's also in-house, homemade, in -house, correct. homemade, all the way down to the dressing. Yep. Like I said, just here for the bruschetta, we just make everything here. We do buy all the ingredients from local farmers, but we do make everything in-house. That's amazing. I can't wait to see what we have for the entrees. We'll see. Carlos, we've got three stellar looking entrees in front of us. Let's dig right in. What All do right. I have right here? Right there for you, do you have a chicken cacciatore with white rice. Then you have tomatoes right there for you, capers, onions, and celery. Oh, wow. So, and you're serving it with rice, huh? Yes. Mmm. We always try to make different things here at 111. We do try to stay with our local cuisines, just different types of food from around the world there. Mm. And the, I'm, this is also locally sourced chicken as well, right? Yes, from Arnold's Farm here in Elizabeth. That is really good. Let's move up here. Uh, this Over is a pork chop? Feet. Yes, actually, this is currently our pork feature. It's from Arnold's Farm as well. It's a six ounce pork chop topped with hen of the wood mushroom gravy. Then you have sour cream mashed potatoes and seasonal vegetables. Oh, wow. Right there, as you can see, we do have some peppers, green beans. We have some um, radishes right over here and carrots. Oh, wow. So. All kinds of, you, you said that this is your pork feature Correct. right now. We always try to keep features on. We have four pork, fe four dinner features. We have a pork, a fish, a beef, and a chicken. We always try to change them throughout the week. Mm. Do you change your menu quite often then? Um, about every year. Mm. Not a lot of seasonal? I mean, between... I, I, I know I, seasons change here and there, like our vegetables right now, we have those. Then we have um, the fall coming, we'll have some squash coming in. We have, um, we'll have pumpkin coming in as well. Just different types of everything throughout the season. Let's top it off here. What do we got there? Right over here for you. So you, we have seasonal vegetables at the end. We have a coconut curry rice pilaf right there. And we do have a whole baked catfish, and it's stuffed with shiitake mushrooms and spinach. Oh, wow. So... I mean, we're right on the Mississippi. Yes, or, we are. I mean, we're a stone's throw <laughs> right. from here. Is that from the Mississippi River yep, right there? straight out of the Mississippi. We do have a local guy here, Incredible. Mike Bellerman. He fishes for us and just brings it right to us. Oh, wow. Now, you said, is this one of your favorite dishes as well? I will say, personally, do you like seafood? Why don't you grab a fork? Let's dig in together. All right. Yeah, that, that's so wonderful. That I mean, not only your, your vegetables, uh, but your, also your, your proteins with, with your... Your chickens and your porks and also your catfish, yes. all coming in within a regional, very close area from yeah. here. It's so awesome that somebody, you know, this kind of business can thrive here in this area where you can find these local dishes and make them come alive here in this restaurant. Oh, wow. I'm going to grab a little bit of that fish right there. Get some of that spinach. Well, it's really good. That is really, really good. All three of these entrees are just stellar. Let's finish it up with some dessert, shall we? All right. All right. Carlos, we've had some great food so far, and it's time to top it off with some sweet treats at the end. What kind of desserts do we have in front of us? Right here for you, we do have a homemade raspberry cheesecake. We also do make our own whipped cream. Oh, and this is the whipped cream there? Yes. 
Oh, wow. All, and kind of, so you got some nuts and a little bit yep. of everything along with it. Chocolate huh? and caramel right there as well. Mmm. It's so great. At no point have you guys been cutting any corners. Homemade cheesecake. Yes. To end the night is that's that's incredible. We also, again, we try to keep different cheesecakes here. We have um, we've had had uh, bacon cheesecake. That's something different. People try out. Mm -hmm. We've had raspberry, mixed berry, strawberry. Oh, wow. Different types of cheesecake here. That that's really good. I will say here we do have my personal favorite. We do have a flourless chocolate silk cake. Okay. It comes with a scoop of vanilla bean ice cream. Our ice cream, we do get it from Sassy Cow Creamery in uh, Madison. Mm -hmm. And then we also have some apples, chocolate, and caramel there. That's great. Grab your spoon, because I'm, right. I'm not going to try this <laughs> alone. So ice cream and a flourless. Yes, so flourless, it's a little bit more kind of like fudge, I will say. Okay. It's really good. Mm. Wow. Great chocolate, great ice cream. And uh, yeah, I was gonna say, let's, let me see if I can snatch one of these. Ooh, apples there. Apples off the top there. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. It's rich, but you have the vanilla ice cream to- Yes, it actually, that always helps even it, it out. To even yeah. it out a little bit, but creamy, creamy, creamy. Carlos, thank you so much for bringing us in and uh, trying all your great food. and Yeah, no problem. I mean, absolutely wonderful from start to finish. Great, great, great. Well, thank all you right. for having us. Thanks a lot, Carlos. Thank you.